Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Starkey Formstead. All right, guys, so let's get into these topics. It's Hori Form, an amazing no-till organic regenerative form in what I would consider North Louisiana, Ruston, Louisiana, all day yesterday for nine hours. And Stephen and I did some amazing videos of the speakers and the topics that they were covering. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break up those videos into little chunks and I'm gonna be posting them. Now the video that you're fixing to watch is a gentleman who does a do-it-yourself crimper for taking down cover crops. And his name is Terrence Jackson. He works with Sprout out of New Orleans, which is a nonprofit, and he is amazing. He is so knowledgeable and he's so encouraging to help you make your own tools because he makes a very good point in this video. A crimper can cost thousands of dollars and a crimper is used to terminate cover crops. You can make it. And I would like to say that I think more and more people are leaning to no-till for several reasons. Guys, it's better on soil, okay? It creates healthier soil. It reduces the need for commercial fertilizers, pesticides, fungicides, all of that, okay? Herbicides, it just reduces that cost. It's easier to manage in a small form setting, okay? Now, when I say cover crops, a lot of us, including myself, go, ooh, right? Because when I looked it up on YouTube, it was just one YouTuber after another just trying to give me a million gazillion bits of information on cover crops that I did not need and I did not understand. So I'm gonna break it down very easily and very quickly for you. There's a cover crop for every situation and for every season. So say that you need to break up a disease or pest cycle. There's a cover crop for that. Say that you need to break up soil compaction, okay? There's a cover crop for that. Say that you need to increase nitrogen in your soil, and we all know the cost of like commercialized fertilizers are through the roof. I wouldn't use them anyway, but you know what I'm saying. There is a cover crop for that. Say that you needed to increase nitrogen in your soil over the winter so that your soil would be prepared for the spring. You got it. There's a cover crop for that. So I can't really tell you what cover crops you need because I am learning it too. What I can tell you is that you do need to cover crop, but keep it simple. Okay guys, because if you plant the cover crops, you must terminate the cover crops. And terminating the cover crops, in all honesty, is more difficult than learning which cover crops and how to plant them. So, I hope that it did not confuse you, but what I hope that I did do was let you know that you do need to look into cover cropping. And if you'll notice, we have a new playlist out at Starkey Formstead. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Go and check out the Campy Field playlist. You can also check out our no-till. We are completely organic, regenerative, no-till, quarter acre market garden. We tarp, we cover crop, we deep mulch, we sustainably form, and we do this all on compacted red Louisiana clay. Guys, I'm telling you, yes, you can. So I hope you enjoy this video of Terrence. I hope you watch the others in the series because they are so informative. Some of them I don't do intros. I just let the, the person that the expert do their job and I just let them do the talking. I didn't feel like I needed to do intros and, and endings and all of that. I mean, I feel like you know who you're, you're watching, what you know, YouTube channel you're on. But I am gonna ask you, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will try to get Terrence's information and put it in the comments because he does do drone footage of forms. And like I said, he was amazing. I enjoyed watching him. I hope you do too. You can just hang stuff. You can just nail this to a wall and hang, put a rack on it and hang stuff. It's fairly cheap. Um, and a few washers and screws. This, you probably can find all of this stuff at your farm, honestly. Uh, drill a few holes in and get a, a couple, you know, a rope and this your foot crimper. So you just take it out on your cover crop. 
<clears throat> as you move forward, you'll step on it. You want to put this this part in the front because you're stepping on the front of this uh, to make sure that you press it down and crimping the cover crop. Some people will sharpen this edge to make sure that you get a nice uh, crimp, but uh, if you put enough force down on it, I don't think you should be. You won't have to uh, sharpen it. Uh, but you just take it. Some of them you can do this much longer than this. You can put two or three people on it if you want to. So you can just pick it up, hold it um, with your arm. I step with one foot. Some people do two, and you just step. You just step on it. You can rock back and forth if you want to. Step up off of it. You go back and continue to step. Roll on it. Step, and you'll do this until you, you're done. Like I said, you can use this two or three people. Uh, you can get a longer two by four and use this. If you're short, you can use a bigger screen or you can just come over right here, tie a knot, adjust it, and keep it going. Once you're done, come in, take the knot off, and it can be used for someone who's much taller than you. That way it can be adjusted the way that you want to. If you wanted to make, um, a lot of people use these on the farm or carry on the farm. What I do is I put a zip tie right here around it. And then I pull the top part to make it tight, make this part a little bit tighter. That way I can put it on my shoulder and carry it around the farm while we doing stuff. or move around with it. When I get to the farm, I take that same, same, that same zip tie pull the bottom part like this that zip tie will rise up and I use it you still have that loop right here you can still use it move it around and when you get done pick it up pull it from the top and slide down and then you'll be able to use and move around this way also when you put it you hang it on the wall it'll stay on the wall tight because if you don't you hang it on the wall like this it's just gonna be hanging falling around so make these the way that you want to. All of these things can, there's so many ways that you can use the things on your farm. <laughs> Pallets, <laughs> some T-bars, that you can make pins, you can make all of these great tools out of on your farm. And it don't cost you a fraction of the cost. That's right. A crimper is thousands of dollars. And this right here is pretty much <laughs> under $5 if you got some rope and this piece of metal right here. I'm pretty sure everybody, even in your house, you got screws and washers from a shelf, from anything. You got a drawer, just random nuts and bolts. So be innovative, think outside the box, and uh, don't be scared to try different things. All of us come from different backgrounds. You, everybody is learning about agriculture. We are all at different stages. So start where you are and can continue to go. Use some of the tools that you already know that you're working with. You know, I work with drones. I work with, I just got a 3D printer where I'm printing different stuff now. So if you need a washer or uh, um, a little, little something to put into your pipe so it won't leak, you can go 30 minutes 3D printing. Well, you can, <laughs> if you stay somewhere like here, where the <laughs> right. stores and stuff are fairly far from each other. If you have a farmer that a 3D printer, um, you can go a couple hours and print a whole nozzle where you can spray on your uh, plant. It'll be a great help. When they have to travel an hour or so to just to go to the store and pick up a two, three dollar car. So um, let's come together and help each other use our tools that we already had. Cause I know it's, it's a farmer's you might can grow watermelon, but you're a much better mechanic. You might could paint, you know, but you're currently growing sweet potatoes or you're currently growing um, sugar cane. But we all need your services in the agricultural world, no matter what they are. If it's painting, if it's mechanic, oh, we, we all need you. So shine and, you know, continue to shine so we can help each other out.